This wasn't even my first Animal Crossing game, but there's something so nostalgic about the art for Retro Animal Crossing. A few videos ago, I discussed how Nintendo is planning to close down the eShops for the 3DS and the Wii U. This impacts a lot of older Animal Crossing games, meaning you'll only be able to purchase the physical version of them. But in the case of Animal Crossing Wild World on the Wii U's virtual console, you won't be able to play it on the Wii U ever again unless you purchase it before the eShop closes. Many retro Animal Crossing games have been unavailable for a while now unless you purchase them on their original system. But it does seem like in 2023 we're closer than ever before to some of these games actually coming to the Nintendo Switch. For a start, Nintendo has recently added N64 games to their lineup on Nintendo Switch Online, and we can't forget that the very original Animal Crossing game was actually on the Nintendo 64, although it only came out in Japan, so it's pretty unlikely that they would add it to this collection. But rumours and leaks of GameCube games coming to the Switch have been swirling around for a while now, and it seems very likely that that should be happening in the future. And I would be sincerely shocked if they did not decide to add Animal Crossing population growing to this lineup, given that they know Animal Crossing can push sales for their online subscriptions. They've already done this with the DLC, so it makes sense for them to add in some retro games too to incentivize Animal Crossing fans even further. And back to Animal Crossing Wild World, although DS games might seem unlikely on the Switch, they had been on the Wii U for so long, so the possibility of them also coming to the Switch now that the virtual console will be shutting down and you won't be able to purchase these on the eShop seems incredibly likely. From what it seems, Nintendo definitely would have waited for the eShop to close down as it does in March, so just a few months away, before they would actually bring some of these retro games over to the Nintendo Switch. Now that the Wii U Virtual Console library will be unavailable on the eShop, the floodgates have basically opened for Nintendo Switch to start getting some of these games, which is incredibly exciting. Sadly, it's very unlikely that any of the 3DS games would actually make it to the Nintendo Switch. They just feel a bit too recent, and I'm not sure that Nintendo would want to go down that path just yet. But for anything older than the DS, it does seem fairly likely that we would see it on the Switch. After all, with DS games, like I mentioned, they'd basically just be copying what they did over on the Wii U. So it wouldn't exactly be groundbreaking for them to bring something like Animal Crossing Wild World over to the Nintendo Switch Online subscription. And of course, now that we've got Nintendo 64 games, GameCube is very likely to follow, which would also be incredibly exciting, as Animal Crossing Population Growing is honestly a great game, and one that so many people haven't tried yet, so it'd be fantastic to see it actually come to the Switch. But as the title of the video mentions, these retro Animal Crossing games are expected to see a major upgrade if they do come to Nintendo Switch. One that would definitely make the gameplay a lot more exciting for players. Before we continue though, let's have a quick word from our sponsor. This video is sponsored by Skillshare. 2023 is a new year and that means new opportunities to learn. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of interesting classes, and did you know that Skillshare has hundreds of career-focused classes as well? I think this class might be ready to start learning something. As a full-time content creator, I've learned that traditional careers aren't for everyone, and Skillshare can help you design a career that fits you. Skillshare teachers will be there to help guide you every step of the way. For example, Geordie Vanderput has a fantastic class on advanced video editing with Premiere Pro, which could be so helpful for any potential creators out there. And this is just one of the many classes to fit all kinds of different career and learning paths. My villagers will be YouTubers in no time, trust me. The first 1,000 of my viewers to join through my link in the description will get a one month free trial of Skillshare so you can achieve your new career goals this year. Thanks once again to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. As I was saying, if or when Retro Animal Crossing games come to the Nintendo Switch Online subscription, they're expected to see a really nice upgrade that a lot of these games have gotten since they've made it to the console. As you can see with Nintendo's announcement for Nintendo 64 games on Nintendo Switch Online, select games actually include online functionality so that you can compete and cooperate with friends. And it definitely seems like they would give the same treatment for Animal Crossing games if they made it onto the Switch as well. That means, for example, you'd be able to play online in Animal Crossing Wild World, a system that's already set up in the game, so this wouldn't be very difficult for them to do, for the first time since 2014 when the online servers for the Nintendo DS actually closed down. 
This would bring back a really exciting dynamic for a game that hasn't had access to online functionality in so long, despite the systems all being there in Animal Crossing Wild World, the very first Animal Crossing game to have online functionality. It would mean you could go online with your friends in these games, start trading fruits and such, which would really make the experience so much more exciting, honestly. Now, this might be a bit trickier for Animal Crossing on the GameCube. It does technically have a system where you can visit other people's towns and such, but this isn't really online. You basically visit an offline version of their save file, which is a pretty unique concept, honestly. It is entirely possible though that they could adapt this system to work as online for the Nintendo Switch Online system. After all, they've already had to adapt so many retro games for the Nintendo Switch Online so they can work online, as none of these had online functionality at all when they released. So they could definitely do the same for GameCube games as well, including Animal Crossing population growing. Online is definitely something that we take for granted, especially in Animal Crossing New Horizons where it does feel like there isn't a ton to do online, but for these retro Animal Crossing games, it can honestly enhance the experience a lot, making gameplay a lot more exciting. It was much harder to get certain fruits and items if you weren't able to play with others in these games, so this would help out a lot. And for Animal Crossing GameCube, it would just be a massive upgrade in general, as that functionality was never there in the original, so it'd be something we've actually never seen before. Overall, I definitely think it's pretty likely that we will see at least one retro Animal Crossing game make it onto Nintendo Switch. We have to remember that Nintendo is a business first and foremost, and they know that Animal Crossing games can help sell their Nintendo Switch Online subscriptions even more. That's exactly why they put the DLC on there as a part of the expansion pack. I also feel like they would do this to help tide Animal Crossing fans over until the next game actually launches, which honestly would be a really good idea as there's a lot of content to enjoy in these past games. And there would certainly be a lot more playability if we had access to the online services as well. I'll definitely be keeping an eye out during the Nintendo Directs coming out this year to see if they do announce GameCube games or even DS games which would be really exciting. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments section below though, do you think they will add retro Animal Crossing games to the Nintendo Switch? And would you like to see online functionality added for them as well? If you made it to the end of the video then be sure to comment Bob's Gang down below so I know you did. If you enjoyed be sure to leave a like and if you haven't already, consider subscribing and turning on notifications for more. I want to say thank you to these channel members for supporting me and the content that I make here. Their contributions allow me to keep making videos. If you want to support these videos and get some great perks for doing so like access to our members only discord, exclusive bob emojis and live streams and much more, then click the join button down below the video or the link in the description.